next speaker is a journalist, author, and nationally recognized columnist and media critic who has been an outspoken war opponent from Point Reyes, Norman Solomon. Almost two long war years ago, I met a seven-year-old girl named Guljuma on the outskirts of Kabul. She had lost her home and most of her family when she, the year earlier, had the last contact that she's ever had since then with the U.S. government, when before dawn the walls fell, when the bombs took most of her family away, and when she was left homeless with her dad to come to the refugee camp in Kabul. Since then, as before, I've worked as co-chair of the National Health Care Not Warfare Campaign. In Marin County, the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan has cost the taxpayers inside this county $1.8 billion for war. What we need is health care, not warfare. When Martin Luther King spoke against the madness of militarism, he was speaking about the Vietnam War and he was talking about the perpetual war that we continue to live in today. We say no to perpetual war. We want a Department of Peace. We want a priority of peace. We want an economy based on peace and social justice and we're gonna work harder than ever to get it. When I went to Afghanistan, I saw the enemy. The enemy that kills every day in large numbers. The enemy there is poverty. Infant mortality, sky high. Maternal death rates, sky high. When we talk about health care, not warfare, we're talking about old people and young people and all the people of Afghanistan and here today where we need single payer guaranteed health care for all. Now we're told by a lot of pundits and supposed wise political acres that politics is the art of the possible. And then we're told it's not possible to have health care for everyone. We're told it's not possible to end perpetual war. We're told it's not possible to have an egalitarian society. If that's the case, we better redefine what we mean by possible and then work for the politics of the imperative, the imperative. It's not simply a matter after eight or nine or nine and a half years to jump on the bandwagon and say, this war is unpopular now, we're against it. That's not the way to end perpetual war because there'll always be another war and another war in Libya or Yemen or somewhere else. The way to end war is to say, not now, not later, not next year, not the year after, we want an end to perpetual war. When Martin Luther King spoke about the madness of militarism, he also spoke about the imperative that we work as drum majors for peace. Not on the occasional bandwagon against this or that war, but 24-7, 365, drum majors for peace. Lynn Woolsey is one of the most important drum majors for peace in our lifetime. Every time Lynn Woolsey has gone to the floor of the House, every time she has spoken for sanity and foreign policy for an end to perpetual war, every time she has spoken out for genuine peace based on social justice, Lynn Woolsey speaks for us. And that helps us to do what we must do today and tomorrow and every day. We will speak for ourselves. We want an end to perpetual war. We insist on peace and social justice. Thank you very much.